Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is Tuesday, January the 22nd, and this is a quick hit on metals. Um, starting off with SLV Silver. Okay, well, this isn't exactly doing too good, obviously. Uh, we had this possible descending wedge, which today was uh, broken and closed above. Uh, you'll notice that we are pushing the upper Bollinger Band back. And uh, what else is there to see? Well, here on the daily, it doesn't look horrible. Um, obviously, a break of the top is, uh, is a bullish sign. And a new recent high, also a bullish sign. Um, we have gotten through the long-term moving average bar. At some point, we'll need to uh, come back and uh, hit it again. Um, and then we'll see if it bounces off or fails. Uh, don't know at this time which it'll be. There are some clues. Uh, Indicator-wise, we have everything still moving up. Stochastic's holding high. Um, it is ripe for a turn down on the secondaries. But uh, we simply don't have that as of yet. So... So what do we have, right? Um, we have a little bit of a better blip in the heat map. It is not extreme. It is not, uh, um, you know, dark enough yet to really, really matter. So the question will be, can we fall back inside the descending wedge or if this is a breakout? And I uh, simply don't know that at this time. We do know that the 60-minute time frame has been ugly, has been bearish. Uh, and the daily has been strong. Here we are with the 60 minute, and we can see how long this has been stuck in the upright p position. It's been truly, um, you know, powerful. It's just uh, ridiculous that we haven't had a turn yet, but uh, that's how it goes. Uh, checking the negative divergence, we have a new recent high today, and look at that peak on the MACD histogram pathetic. Uh, so definitely major negative divergence still in effect and it's not going to change. Everything is already high. We're just waiting for it to uh, to take hold and it is taking longer than personally I would like. Um, we can also see here it's a position above the upper line of the descending wedge. You can see that we are massively overbought and high on everything. We're just waiting for that little spark to uh, come in and move us down. So daily positive, 60 minute absolutely bad. So just, just, uh, just waiting, waiting game. Um, and certainly does not mean that I like it. Uh, moving on to gold. All right, very interesting. Very interesting. I mean, on one hand, you could look at this and say, well, it's almost as nice as silver. Uh, I did have a positive day, but we do not have an all-time high intraday today. We don't have a closing all-time high. We have not completely cleared the long-term moving average bar. All we did was get to the major price consensus level for January and back away. This is uh, definitely uh, worse than silver. We also have the uh, RSI trying to turn down, which is different than silver as well. Uh, just one factor, but uh, nonetheless, this is much, much worse than silver in the daily. It is trying to make a topping area in the heat map, but this is way too early. It's too weak, um, but continues doing what it's doing. We should, in the next few days, have a marker here, but... Uh, that's depending on whether it's able to uh, go higher or not. Um, just not too much to see. Silver is just out of control at the moment. Um, and GDX miners. Yeah, this one is uh, somewhat telling as well. Matter of fact, I think that this might be a really good tell. We have a uh, really nice move in the miners today. Nice big green candle. 
and we have yeah, ever so slightly higher than uh, than last week's uh, here on the what day is this on the uh, 14th um, the 15th the 15th high oh actually you know what we did not we did not beat the 15th high never mind okay so we have nothing in the heat map we have uh, all the secondaries moving up with the exception of the RSI uh, but I mean look at this for a moment we have the long-term moving average bar every time we've come into contact with it it gets beat back down what happened today we got back to the long-term moving average bar uh, is this a good we pierced it a little bit but uh, is this a good place for it to go crazy and scream to the top uh, no it's not most likely it is not so um, this nice positive day and I think it's kind of exhaustive of the uh, of the move and we should have a pause or a pullback in metals relatively quickly and uh, that should extend to silver as well and that's it but if I'm totally totally wrong on silver then we are going to break on up stronger and uh, beat the upper price consensus level at which time uh, definitely I think it'll be uh, the moment for uh, bears are going to uh, fall to pieces and the bulls are going to rejoice but it is early and it is taking time and that's all there is to it as always all investing decisions are your own this chart and video for entertainment educational and consumption of time purposes only thank you